Hey everyone, welcome to the DT Model Art channel. Uh, part 6 here, happening right now. And it's the seat belts, as I promised on the last episode. And what we're going to do here is use a set of seat belts from Tuner Model Factory. That's the set of seat belts I'm going to put in this thing. I mean, it's, it's a huge improvement over these things. This, this is the uh, kit pieces, which are, are decals. Uh, I really, if it's if there's one thing that's really visible in an F1 car, it's the seat belt area or the cockpit area where the driver sits. And unless you're putting a driver in there, um, I want to have real seat belts as my area of detail inside there because there's not a whole lot of other things to look at inside there. So a, a really nice set of of photo etch with really good woven ribbing material that Tuner Model Factory Hero gives you here will do nicely. Um, I've taken the liberty here of pre-cutting some of the items here so that basically I save time. Uh, this video won't go 30 minutes or so, which I don't want to do. And uh, you guys get to get right into it and see what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to try everything I can to keep them right in front of me here and show you. And we're going to start a little bit of music and just I'm going to build these things. And then when I'm done, I'll show you the results. Let's go.
I gotta tell you, that was, as you can see by the video, very tedious work to do, but uh, I've got it pretty much done. Now, the final details for the belts is a few decals that come in the Tuner Model Factory, uh, what is it, Tuner Model Factory uh, kit for the seatbelts. They give you tons of these harness decals and all kinds of neat stuff. But instead of using the decals that they give you in that kit for the belts, are their, their, their sub belt uh, style seatbelts. Um, but the actual main harnesses have the Santander logos on them. So what I did is I extracted those decals off of the kit decals. And I'm going to put those on separately and use a good amount of uh, some, some Mark Fit uh, Strong on those to get them to conform down to the... Uh, to the decals themselves. Plus there's a buckle in there that's made from uh, from resin that is uh, part of the tuner model factory uh, seatbelt kit, that little gray thing down there, that needs to be painted silver. So we're gonna we're gonna do that with some Model Master lacquer line silver and we're gonna go ahead and just paint that in there a silver color. And I'm just going off of everyone, I'm going off of what the colors are on the Tamiya decal belt as my colors. You could probably go nuts with this and, and maybe paint it silver and then to really accent you could put some like clear red on it or clear blue possibly. But I don't know if that's accurate to this car so we're just going to leave it as is in a silver color like the rest of the buckles. Now while that's drying, we're going to apply those other decals that I was showing to you uh, here that I've got to add to the car. So we'll put this aside for now. And we'll get out a nice clean uh, brush here. Got one right here, I believe. And actually I don't need it because I've got the, uh, the brush inside the applicator of the... Mark fit strong. I did pick up a bottle of this, like I said I was going to. Works pretty good. I, I compare it really to the to the micro scale blue, uh, red bottle. It might be a little stronger. What I like about the micro scale stuff, just so you guys and gals all know out there, is when you brush it on, the micro scale seems to coat the entire decal and stay there. This stuff here and the Gunzy or the uh, the Mr. Mark softener, it seems to beat up, and I like it to stay over the decal uniform and then kind of evaporate and it gives it a fuller look that way or not a fuller look but a a, a more effective um, result I think but they're all good I mean I will tell you up front so we're gonna put these little Santander decals onto the seats these right here I'm gonna put them right in there because that's what the real SF70 had was those decals instead of like Sabelt or or whatever other companies out there Schroth uh, um, a couple other companies that make seatbelts so we're gonna put this in here whoops like that right there let me get a q-tip here and wick it up a little bit q-tips coming really handy for that kind of stuff really nice there and these teeny tiny decals they're like safety logos that they give you in the uh, tuner model factory decal kit here so we're gonna put those in right down here just before the belt buckle on each of these where well, they don't want to cooperate <laughs> You know how it is. Right there. Okay. Another one. Goes in about the same area right here. Like that. And now we're going to get out the old, not the old, but the new, I should say, Mark Fitch Strong. And brush a coat of that on here and on there and then on these guys right here and we'll let it set now last but not least is a little Sabelt logo 
that will go, well, you'll see in a minute. Right in here. Like the finishing touch. Right there. Very, very cool. I'm really pleased with that. So we're going to brush a little bit of this on there as well. A little dab in there. Let that set. And if we need to, we'll add a couple more layers. What you could also do is brush uh, once it's dry and, and it's, it's adhered to the belt fabric really well. You could brush maybe a couple coats of dull coat on there if you wanted to. Or you can just leave them alone. Whatever you want to do. But that's the seat. So the seat is done now. And I'm dying to see how it looks when it's in the car. So we got we just got to throw it in there real quick before I end this video. So you all can see how cool it looks inside the car. Oh, yeah. There we are. There we go. Wow. See the difference that makes? To have the belts in there like that, you've got the the uh, real fine carbon that you don't see to the naked eye very well, which is the way I want it. I want it to be very, very inconspicuous, but yet when you look in there close, go, is that carbon? See, that's what's what you want to get people to see. Did you carbon fiber that seat? It's not obvious. It's not out of scale, and that's what we're looking for is scale fidelity here. So, that ends this video. Um, next video, we're going to use the Gravity Colors pre-cut tape mask. We're going to mask off the sides on the sides here and tape off the car. I'm going to pull the seat out. See, I'm not going to install the seat and the, and the steering wheel and all that until I mask it off and shoot the bottom in the uh, semi-gloss black color that it needs to be on this. And then we're going to move on to other aspects of the car. The, uh, the underwing tray, I'm going to get that prepped and painted. Um, apply the, uh, all these carbon kit decals that come with the kit that have all the cool weaves in different directions that, that Tamiya provides. So lots, lots more to come. Again, if you haven't subscribed, everyone, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, again, please hit the subscribe button, mash the like button. And uh, if you're, you know, if you are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it, and give me some feedback down below of things you like or don't like, and I'll be more than happy to answer or or maybe change a few things up. I hope on this one, I, I kept things more in the camera view. Uh, I do have a a uh, a new alt uh, um, um, remote monitor coming that I can put right in front of me here and look right in there instead of looking up at my camera to see if I'm in, I'm in the uh, viewfinder with everything. These belts were a pain in the butt, I'll tell you. Um, they always are. I dread them, but the, the, the end result, as you can see here, is worth it. So, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.